Well, that was an interesting experiment. I wanted to remount this blade for a while. And at first I was thinking, put it on, on a long pole to get kind of a, a pole arm. But then I figured it's just the proportions really lend themselves to a single-handed sword. So I wanted to mount that and then I, <laughs> I looked at this tiny little buckler boss that I had lying around. I was like, hmm, can we combine that? Well, it's not going to win any beauty awards, in my opinion at least, but I do like how the paint job turned out on this. So this whole thing was a matter of what can I get away with my limited tools and experience. It definitely bothers me that I forgot to mark the holes here to put pins through. If I ever get a drill press, I can I could still do it, maybe, although the <laughs> the guard might be in the way at this point. And uh, this guard is really more of a decorative thing because it's just copper. So it, it, it would bend very easily. And the way this boss is attached is probably not secure enough. I mean, I think it would be able to take a couple of sword blows, but I don't know how durable it would be really long term. I mean, I'll have to find out, obviously, but um, <laughs> I don't know. And there's, of course, some mistakes here and there. One, one thing that annoys me is that I cracked here. Some more finishing work is definitely in order, like stain this, or maybe, maybe I'll spray paint this the same way as that. Might be, might be pretty cool. But basically I just ran out of time because I have an upload schedule and I was planning in basically most of the week, but I still ran out of time. So this is where we're at. This I should also paint over. So yeah, interesting experience. And making stuff yourself always gives you more appreciation for the skills of people who are really good at it. And I think it can also be useful for reviews to just have some first-hand experience crafting. Maybe I'll do this more, well, semi-regularly. It takes too much time to do it all the time, but, you know. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and have a good one, folks. If you haven't seen it before, I've got an Amazon store where I list certain things that I personally recommend, like swords, knives, video and audio gear, tools, etc. And I'll keep adding new stuff and comments. The link is down below.